A story is reaching us from outside Africa. A ceasefire has finally brought to an end to fighting, which broke out this month between Israel and Palestinian militant Hamas. Several persons and organizations have welcomed the development. Plus TV Africa's correspondent Adebanke Oduni has more on this. Eleven days of fighting between Israel and the Palestinian militant group Hamas came to an end when a ceasefire began after Egypt brokered an agreement between the two parties. The crash began on the 10th of May in East Jerusalem at Al-Haqsa, a holy site revered by both Muslims and Jews. Hamas began firing rockets after warning Israel to withdraw from the site, causing retaliatory airstrikes. Several have welcomed the ceasefire via social media. Earlier, United States President Joe Biden had announced that Israel and Hamas had agreed to ceasefire, commending them for taking steps towards peace. Minister Prime Minister Netanyahu informed me that Israel has agreed to a mutual unconditional ceasefire to begin in less than two hours. The Egyptians have now informed us that Hamas and the other groups in Gaza have also agreed. Previously, the U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres had earlier appealed to the parties to stop fighting and bring an end to violence. I am deeply shocked by the continued air and artillery bombardment by the Israeli Defense Forces in Gaza. As of 19 May, this had claimed the lives of at least 208 Palestinians, including 60 children, and injured thousands more. The continued indiscriminate firing of rockets by Hamas and other militant groups towards population centers in Israel, resulting in at least 12 fatalities, including two children and others of injuries, is also unacceptable. Speaking of the ceasefire, the Israeli political security cabinet said it had unanimously accepted the recommendation for a ceasefire, even though Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu had faced criticism from some in Israel who said he had halted the conflict too early. Some of those are the mayors of Esteroth and Ashkelon, two of the Israeli towns hardest hit by rockets from Gaza. A Hamas official stated that a ceasefire announced was seen as a victory for the Palestinian people. He said this view was shared by people celebrating on the streets of Gaza. However, a member of Hamas's political bureau, Izzat al-Rashik, issued a warning to Israel saying that their finger remains on the trigger. On the side of the Palestinians, at least 232 people, including 65 children, have been killed. And in Israel, 12 people, including two children, were killed. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Udunui. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.